What's up guys, and today we're going to be talking about tables in HTML. Now let's get started. Alright guys, this is what a table looks like, and um, the, the first row right here is going to be called the table uh, headers. Alright guys, this is what a table looks like, and the first row is going to be called the table headers, and everything under are going to be cells, so all of this right here are going to be different cells, and they're defined by a tag, and the tag is TD. And TD stands for table data. And now let me show you how to make a table. Now tables and lists are really similar because their structure is basically the same. Now let me show you why. Alright, so you're going to want to type in table. Open it. And then inside the table we're going to have the table rows. So type in TD. Actually TR, sorry. Table row. And then the first table row is going to be where our headers will be. So th that's going to be the table header and let's do a uh, person and then our other header is going to be the age now under the table row we're going to have another one so table row and inside here we're going to put the uh, name of our person of our first person and the age of that person now do td table data and then the a the name is going to be bob and his age will be 30. Now, if we open this with the live server, as you can see, that's what it looks like. And it's not really styled, um, but I will show you how to style this in a bit. Now, let's add another person. So go under Bob. And we're going to add another row. And we're going to put table da data. And our person's name is going to be Mike. And Mike is going to be, let's do 15. Now let's open this with Laugh Server to make sure everything is working well. And as you can see, Mike's here now. And also, uh, make sure that when you make a uh, cell um, under the headers, that you don't put table header instead of table data, because this is what will happen if you do that. And as you can see, we have a table header where our table um, data is supposed to be. So make sure to not confuse these two. And of course, we can add elements too. So let's uh, do that. Now we're going to add a uh, blog link to every single person here. And to do that, we're going to want to add another table header. And it's going to be the blog. Now let's go to Bob and add his own. Uh, blog. So we're going to make a table data and inside it we're going to add a link. So let's add an anchor and the text is going to be uh, Bob's blog. And for the link you can put an actual one but I'm going to make it uh, up. So I'm going to do www.bob blog.com and of course this uh, website doesn't exist but let's see what it looks like and as you can see there's a new uh, header and then we have the link and if we click it it's going to redirect us to this non-existing site let's add uh, these blogs to our other people so I'm going to go to Mike now and then add a table data add an anchor and then this is going to be the website URL. So let's do Mike uh, blogs.com. And I'm actually going to change this to blogs to this. It honestly doesn't matter. And then I'm going to add the text here. Uh, the text is going to be Mike's blog. Now let's do this to this guy right here, which I don't know his name yet, so I'm going to, let's make him Will, and Will is going to be 25, and I'm going to actually just copy this to make this faster, so Will, and then Will, so, and if we open this live server, as you can see, everything looks great other than this, because I forgot to change it back, so it's going to be a table data and not a table header there we go 
and now everything looks great and the links are working now you could you could have added any elements you want so you can uh, go and test out you know with other elements and see what it looks like but I'm gonna show you how to style your table now now let's start with the borders so what you're gonna want to do is go to the table add the style attribute and don't really worry about the code right now just follow me and what you're gonna want to type in is border um, do this right here and then the first value is going to be the width so let's make it 5 pixels the second value don't worry about uh, about it right now I'll show you what it means later so just do solid and then the third value is going to be the color so uh, you can do black or you can do whatever you want you can even hover here and then change it to like let's say green or you can just type in green or blue and I'll just leave it at blue for now and then let's uh, open it with live server and as you can see we have a uh, blue border and what the solid right here value means is basically this if I change this to dotted um, and then open this with live server as you can see it went from just being solid a line into being uh, dotted and now I'll show you the different types of um, I guess lines you can get and so you can play around and see uh, where you end up and now I'll split my screen to show you guys the different types of lines I guess you can get so we have dotted right here and then we have dashed double and let's do outset and if you don't want to have a border you could just do hidden or you can do none which doesn't really make sense for you to do um, but yeah so now that you know the different types of I guess lines you can get you can play around with uh, the second value right here which is going to be the line style and then the width we can make it really bold I mean like really big so let's make this solid we can make it really thick we can change the color and just play around and see where you end up and I'm going to show you how to change the width and height of uh, the table so I'm gonna change the style of the border to make it more simple so let's do five pixels um, solid brown and you can keep your style if you really like it now let's add the height and let's draw 600 just to see what would happen and that's that's too much let's try 200 I think that's all right let's add the width now and see what would happen so let's do 400 um, too much again two I mm, think we can do 250 and then maybe change the height now and just play around with um, the values until you end up with something that you like so I think that 125 as the height would be yeah there we go so that's pretty nice now as a small challenge you can delete all of this code and make a new table on whatever you want so you can have uh, a person the age their email address or whatever you want if you want more practice uh, this is going to be it for this video so thank you guys for watching this so much uh, sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this and see you in the next video bye